Education and Disabilities Final Project submitted by Deborah Jackson. For the purpose of this assignment, I've selected the social justice issue of education and disabilities. The sociological perspective to which I will apply for this assignment is the conflict perspective. I've chosen a micro level and autism as a specific disability and the presentation style for this assignment will be lecture using the PowerPoint. Education, educating students with disabilities is challenging for certain families. All public schools are legally required to provide universal access to all students. That experience varies from district to district. I can personally attest to that statement as I have an eight-year-old son that receives special education services in a Metro Atlanta school district. For the past three years, I've held countless meetings um, had several amendments and done countless hours of research to be able to ensure that my son has received a fair and equitable experience as it relates to his journey through autism. For the purpose of this assessment, I will utilize the examination of intersexuality as it relates to social class and ethnicity, gender identity and race, and race and social class. For ethnicity and social class, I use an example for a lower class African American student. In this particular situation, the student's position in social class does not afford access to attend private school. In this case, they may have limited or no access to enrichment programs to supplement the free services that are offered by the local school district. That may be include, inclusive of speech therapy, ABA therapy, food therapy, recreational therapy, etc. This child will also be more likely to be offered social promotion in lieu of a formal diagnosis as officials regard the cost of services too high. Typically, speech therapy services cost roughly $8,000 per year. And in this case, a lower class student would not be able to afford this. Gender identity and race. I selected an African American male student. In this situation, it's common that black males are more likely to be disciplined for displaying atypical or distraction, distracting behaviors. In fact, studies have shown where African American students are typically disciplined at higher rates than their counterparts in school systems. That does not include students with disabilities. These behaviors are similar to those that will be shown with a child that may have learning disabilities and the child may be labeled as a deviant as opposed to someone who may require additional assistance or the staff may be required to fulfill certain levels of training to be able to engage and to provide the child with the necessary coping skills. Race and social class. For African-American working class families similar to myself, um, I can attest that in most cases, we're somewhat unfamiliar with how to advocate for the child's needs. The parents also often feel inferior to the experts and are likely to accept social promotion in lieu of a diagnosis as to the cost is high for educational purposes and the offsets for private schools and other therapies may be costly child also in this case and even the family struggle with navigating aspects of hidden curriculum as they're unaware or generationally have never received those. 